Infinity Board Tutorial as a Complete Beginner Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can use Infinity Boards to manage your own company or different projects and how you can create different tasks and assign different tasks to different people and how you can add different teammates as well. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to startinfinity.com. Now once you're over here guys, you just simply have to sign up. So simply click on get started over here at the top right simply click on get started now once you clicked on get started over here you basically have to choose a plan so it's a one-time payment so once you pay it once you will never have to pay again and you can use infinity forever and you can choose different members of your team so basically if you have 15 members you will need to pay 349 dollars and if you have 20 members you will have to pay 449 and if you have 25 members just you just simply have to pay 549 dollars so just simply choose a plan and then you can use infinity forever and you can manage your company or projects or team however you like it and once you have signed up you just simply have to choose a different template so just simply come over here or templates click on it and over here you will basically have different templates on how to use infinity now you can create your own infinity boards but i would recommend using the templates because it saves a lot of time and trust me guys you don't want to waste your time on creating different templates on creating into your entire boards just simply choose a template over here and then you can just remove some of the elements that you don't want or add more elements and it basically saves a lot of time choosing these templates so these are all the templates that we have over here and over here on the left side we have some different categories so we have education templates and in education we have course planning attendance tracker we have events we have freelancers and many many more so go ahead and choose a template that is most suitable for you let's just choose this one over here and see how it looks like so as you can see over here preview this template click on it and this is how the template will look like so basically these are all the boards over here and you can just simply choose it if you want as we can see if you like this template and you think that this template is most suitable for your tasks or your objective then just simply use this template but if not let's just choose another one over here so click on all categories and over here you basically most probably you'll be using a project planning or a project management so go ahead and choose whichever one you want i'm going to choose project planning because it is one of the most popular ones out there and now let's just preview this template over here wait for it to load up and these are all the things that are available over here so these are my by projects by status and by gantt over here and as you can see we have different elements to it we have we can change these boards move it around but i don't think this isn't the one that i was hoping it would be i think this is someone else i'm a bit confused over here let me find the right template so yeah guys i think it was product management so let's just go ahead and select this template over here yeah this one is it so this is the template that i was talking about most probably this is the template that you are going to be using that is going to be in your needs so over here as you can see we have a lot of different things going on over here so we have these different boards so we have a to-do list we have a going in progress list basically doing list we have a to review list and a to deploy list and many many more and over here at the top we have status we have types we have calendars where we can basically organize and assign different projects onto different dates and then we have priorities basically we can assign different priorities to different tasks meaning if one task is very very important you can just set a top priority on it and then the people that you have added and assigned those tasks to will be alerted and then they can work on them immediately so as you can see these are some of the projects that have been added so this is the high priority project over here these are the ones these are the medium ones and these are the low priority ones so i think this template is very very useful most probably you'll be using this one as well so simply click on use this template but i'm not gonna do that because i haven't bought this application yet as of right now so i'm gonna go ahead and use this demo version to show you everything that you will need to be doing so over here on the left side you will have folders basically you will have you can create different folders for different products and different tasks as well so as you can see this is the current sprint over here this folder represents all the tasks that are needed to be done so as you can see there are 19 tasks available over here so in the to-do lists we have two tasks and in the doing list we have six tasks 
and over here to review we have five tasks so basically you can assign different tasks to different boards and once you click on a tasks now over here things get a little bit complicated you will have a lot of different options over here so basically this is the attribute section now over here you can assign different names you can add descriptions you can assign different assignees basically assign different pe persons or people or your colleagues that are needed on that project and then you can add in the time status priority and type and stuff like that and then just simply add and then you can add in an image as well and then you have comments so basically you can add in different comments to let the person know so let the person working on this project know what your thoughts on it and what do you think about it and then you have an activity log where you can basically see the activity so over here as you can see whenever you uh, make uh, changes to a task then that activity will be recorded and it will be shown over here so that you can keep track of all the things that are going on with a certain project so next we have the type so you can basically add in different boards as well so to add a different board so you can just simply click on this button over here you can now add in different forms of that board so you can add a table you can add a column list you can add calendar gant or form and then you can edit them as you go along so let's just go ahead into the calendar so as you can see we have a lot of different things going on over here we have different applications assigned on different dates so the people working on those projects can know the deadlines of that project and that they can complete it before that specific date and i've already told you about priorities now how do you basically add a different projects on different priorities so just simply choose a priority you want and then just simply click on add a new item and over here just simply add in the item that you want to be in that category add in the name add the description add in the status and types dates links all the other details and then just simply close it and it will be over here now you can change the view of this board as well so you if we choose the table version now we can view it in the table form so basically it gives us a little bit more options so as you can see this one will need it to be completed in 22 hours and many many more and if we click on project management overview if we click over here we will be in the grouped by resources folder so this will tell us all the details that we need so basically we have the vision we have customer personals over here then we have product positioning over here and we have different aspects of different projects down below so we can assign everything as you can already see so basically infinity is very very easy to use and it is very very incredible you can do basically anything in on this project you can assign different people to different projects add as many projects as you want it doesn't get laggy or stuff like that although the only problem is that you have to pay a one-time fee to use it and it's not even a yearly fee you just have to pay that fee once so and that is basically all you need to do so i would highly recommend using this but i would also say that so there are other project management tools that are like infinity such as you have trello or you have clickup you can even use them as well they're completely free of cost you don't have to pay them they also give you a free trial infinity doesn't give a free trial or anything of that sort so that is an aspect so i would say that only large businesses or people with a lot of money can can use this product and if you are looking for a free one then infinity is not for you although it is very good but i wouldn't recommend it to people with on running on a low budget so that is it for this video guys if you have any other questions please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible and if you have any other questions related to this website or this video please also ask them in the comment sections and i will be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i would like to ask you guys to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification guys and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye